Sri Lanka has made tremendous progress towards getting children into school. They are now seeing the payoff from a universal primary education policy put forth almost 70 years ago. Today, close to 98% of enrolled children complete the primary education which has brought Sri Lanka's literacy rate up to 92.3%. What is it like to be a student in Sri Lanka? Enadu payer kunaratinam kushalini. Nan ichandivu kramatil basikindrin. Enadu ikkadeyanadu mahuchi karamanadu. Inda kadayil nan ovvoru naalum paadasalaikku thavaradu varugindren. Idu enadu paadasalai. Mat ichandivu Ramakrishnan Mission Tamil Vidyalayam. எனது எதிர்காலம் பிரகாசமானது என்பது எனக்கு தெரியும் Kushalini is one of the best students in the school and her father is one of her biggest fans. Because we now have peace, there are no obstacles for my daughter to get educated. The roads to the schools have been rebuilt and also breakfast, school uniforms and books are given free of charge. These things are a great help for my daughter's education. Not every family in Sri Lanka is this fortunate. Children from the poorest families, children who work, those with disabilities, and children living far from schools are dropping out due to deep-rooted inequalities. The main reasons that there are still children who do not go to school are poverty and the long-term strife. Karagama dropped out of school when she was only eight, right after her father died. She says her family couldn't support her education. The cycle of poverty is repeating. Her daughter rarely goes to school. They live far away, and the family cannot afford the cost of transportation. I leave around 7 o'clock, and I get to school at 9 o'clock. Before coming to school, we wash the pots and pans, then the clothes, and then have a bath. Through the Out of School Children Initiative, UNICEF and its partners are working to find out who is missing out of school in Sri Lanka. Where do these children live and what will help these children get into school? There are uh, big challenges of bringing uh, the 2 to 5 percent of the children who are not going to school and UNICEF has put a lot of effort on conducting provincial and the national forums on out of school and also to uh, develop action plans. Getting all children in school 2015 means that Sri Lanka will have an educated community which benefits the individual, the family, the community and the society as a whole. Having all the children in school is a big win for everyone.